It's all hands on deck to address the coronavirus pandemic on the state and national level. President Trump says the national emergency declaration will open up access to $50 billion, which will go towards stopping the spread of the virus. Many health professionals, including Summit Metro Area Hospitals, welcome this announcement. For a long time, we've kind of felt like we're at this alone. And I feel like today, watching that press conference, I felt like finally I feel like there is going to be some assistance from the federal government. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield joining us live with how this will help potential patients. Ariel. Kevin, a national emergency cuts some restrictions placed on hospitals, allowing doctors more flexibility to care for patients. At St. Luke's of Kansas City, doctors are preparing for an influx of patients as the coronavirus continues to spread across the country. The thing that's unique about the COVID-19 virus is that you can be shedding virons and be infectious for days before you ever even develop symptoms. In Missouri, four patients have tested positive for COVID-19, while across the state line in Kansas, there have been six confirmed cases, including one death. It's likely that uh, the use of telemedicine will be expanded a new instrument now helping doctors, a national emergency declared by President Trump, which will ease federal license restrictions on hospitals. Every patient that stays at night in the hospital, for example, has to have a window looking outside. Those regulations are going to be relaxed so we can really uh, care for patients in a much more effective uh, and efficient way. And while they have been preparing for weeks. Our emergency preparedness plan focuses on ways for us to provide care to as many patients as as we need. Hospitals now have been told to activate their emergency preparedness plans, which includes thinking one bed ahead. The benefit to the patient is that there is a room available for you and we have the, that ability to care for you. Planning and preparing for what doctors believe will be more. Our hospitals uh, across the health system and across the city and across the country work at near capacity levels right now. And when you have a mass influx of patients like what we're expecting in the next weeks to months, we need to have that pop off valve and we need to be able to kind of repurpose rooms. The national emergency may also allow hospitals to have an easier time bringing additional physicians to treat patients. Uh, reporting in the newsroom, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.